and I can show you a demo. And I'm just going to let this play and let you watch how the mobile approval can work. Now, part of this is going to be mobile, part is not. The part that isn't mobile, I would like you to pay attention to because that's actually the most substantive part of, uh, of our product offering here is uh, the, the workflow-based electronic form that allows you to change jobs. That's part of our ETAP product. So we're going to have a department administrator or department admin request a pay rate change and then have it go through an approval process that includes uh, a mobile-based approval.
we went through there, we saw it, uh, we saw it kicked off inside of what we call EPAF, the job change e form. Since there was a mobile based approver, and basically the intent here would be that people can sign up to get mobile based emails if they like, and, uh, and to be able to access the mobile application and receive SMS messages. So that would be set up on an individual basis as to whether they want to participate that way. So basically we have mobile and and we have laptop or, or desktop based access seamlessly interacting in order to move the workflow through as quickly as possible. Uh, just using the electronic approval process that we already have, we've been doing for, for six years now, with getting into other products, speeds up the approval process dramatically. Uh, University of Houston saw a change of from an average of 15 days for a personnel action for all across all their personnel actions. That dropped down to less than three days with uh, with EPAF. And you can imagine where it can go with mobile-based approvals. Uh, BYU actually saw a drop from an average of four days to less than one day uh, going through a good number of approval steps. So if that becomes part of the culture to actually review your mobile, your approvals very quickly, wherever you happen to be, you can make a, a big difference in the turnaround time for these, uh, for these actions.